Now, new at 10, the mystery surrounding another ex-Oklahoma City officer's legal troubles is mounting. The Court of Criminal Appeals filing more motions under seal in the Daniel Holtzclaw appeal. It's one our Lisa Monahan has been following closely since the court held seemingly unprecedented secret hearings. Lisa? Well, Kelly, we've been digging for information on these hearings for nearly a month now. The court transcripts, the judge's ruling, and even the order that asked for it all to be sealed is now sealed, too. And while the court probably has its reasons for keeping all of this information confidential, the lack of transparency is really raising a lot of questions. The problem I see is that it it lends credence to the public not trusting in what's going on. With that in mind, and the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals policies in hand, we went after the protective order filed with the court clerk, the one dictating all of the secrecy in Daniel Holtzclaw's appeal. The court sealed that order. Normally that order is not sealed, but the court in this case did seal the order. We push back because the OCCA rules state even when the information is sealed, the protective order shall be accessible to the public. The rules are written by the court and the court can override the rules. It's no, it's just an oddball, you know. It, it, Everything seems to have not. Now, these employees are not the authority, but court clerk Michael Ritchie was not there when we stopped by. He did, however, tell Holtzclaw advocate Brian Bates something very similar. The court sealed it because this is a very touchy. I'm Mike Ritchie, the clerk of the court. Bates says he posted the recorded conversation to social media to incite public outcry demanding transparency. I want some answers, and I think that it should be very eye opening to all Oklahomans when you try to follow the rules and the court makes up their own rules as they go along. Legal analyst Irvin Buck says the rule seems pretty clear, so the court must be trying to protect someone or something questionable in the case. And the idea that if it says public ac access and you can't see it just makes people more suspect of what's going on. Now, no one knows the next step here or if there will be another closed hearing, but we were told to check back here tomorrow. Of course, we'll do that for you. Live on the scene on the story, Lisa Monahan, News 9.